Hello everyone, it's me Aika and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, this is actually exclusive to those who are already USRNs. If you happen to apply for NCLEX in a certain state that is different from the state where you will be going to be deployed, then you will need to have a license endorsement. What do we mean when we say license endorsement? Basically, it is when a registered nurse is already licensed to practice as a nurse in a U.S. jurisdiction but he or she seeks to have licensure in another state, then she or he will need to undergo the process of what they call license endorsement. In my case, I applied for NCLEX in the state of New York, so basically, I was a USRN in New York State. However, I am deployed in Maine State, which is a different jurisdiction. Not because I am a USRN in New York, that doesn't mean that I am also a USRN in Maine. I will need to have my license endorsement to be considered as an RN in Maine. So, um, the license endorsement is actually a state-to-state -state basis. Each state has their own uh, requirements. So, in Maine, the first thing that I need to do is to register with maine.gov slash board of nursing. I am also required to submit an ID picture which is not the same as my passport picture or other IDs. So this must be a picture of me. I will also need to print and sign manually their uh, signature page and email it to them. So the non-refundable registration fee is $75. Other requirements include criminal background check by item to go. Um, I think this is most common in all states having their license endorsement, the um, nurse license verification. Because I was registered in New York State Department, um, I will need to have it sent by nurses. By doing that, I need to pay $30 for it. So the first step is to go to nurses.com and select verification for endorsement. Then you can either um, search by name or license number. Just provide the information needed and then select I am not a robot. Then you should see your license information, then click next. Now it's time to select the state where you want your license to be endorsed. It will then require you to pay $30. Just type your billing information and your card number. Then it's done, just print the receipt. If you are a foreign graduate nurse, you will need to have your CGFNS CES professional evaluation sent to them. If you already have your CES report prior to license endorsement, you will again need to purchase it because CES report is being sent to one recipient only. So if you have your CES report um, for your NCLEX, you will have to um, buy it or purchase it again for this license endorsement. However, if you had or if you use CGFNS for other evaluations before, you will not need to wait longer than the usual because they already have your records evaluated. Aside from that, if you are a foreign graduate nurse, you will need to have a proof that your language of instruction during college and your book or other references are all in English. But if it is not, then you will need to have or to take TOEFL. In my case, I graduated in simple and our medium of language was English and all our resources and books are all in English, so I did not have to take TOEFL. In the state of Maine, they will require you to submit the declaration of residency. Basically, they only um, do the license endorsement or the licensure for RN when you are a resident in Maine. Additionally, you will also be required to submit your SSN. You will not have your license until you submit your SSN. But um, in some circumstances, they have this 90 days temporary license. So as long as you complete all of the pension except the SSN, they will still provide a temporary license number for you. But you will not be a registered nurse in Maine, not until you have your SSN. Documents required in the state of Maine are being submitted through email. So as soon as you register with Maine BON, you will receive an email from their representative saying or asking for the requirements. Then you will just attach it in PDF form as much as possible. After you complete or submit all the requirements, you will have to wait 24 to 72 hours. After 24 to 72 hours of um, regular working days, 
you will receive your registered nurse or wall certificate and they will send it through your email. So that's it for license endorsement in the state of Maine. What I have mentioned is exclusively for Maine because um, license endorsement is a state-to-state -state basis. The requirements of Maine can be completely different from the requirements of other states. So it's better to check their website or to inquire directly to the BON where you are applying for a license. So that's it for now.